Hey fellow Pyros, Firework Guy here. Uh, doing a demo today on your Firework Junctions here. Um, I already have done a couple of those. Um, this is what you're left with after the math. Um, just to give you guys something to show you before the video starts. Uh, matter of fact, I, there's two of them there. And um, obviously I went ahead and just kind of dummied one up here to show you guys an example. You know, your mainline Visco Fuse. And this, obviously if this this was a firework, your artillery shell coming down. And so I just did two of them for this example. Um, I left five inches in between and you guys can make this distance whatever you want to be. Um, for this example, I just did five inches so we'd have plenty of time in between. Um, this is what they, it looks like when you take it out of this package. It looks something like this. And so basically your artillery fuse comes up, close the lid. Your visco fuse comes on top of it and keeps going and close the lid so as you can clearly see that's exactly what i did their instructions on the back clearly states connect firework junction to firework close firework junction making sure the latch is securely closed insert visco fuse into firework junction make sure both fuses are touching and then close that firework junction and continue attaching the rest of your firework. Place on the ground and light the visco fuse. Move to a safe distance and enjoy the display. Do not enter display zone until all the fireworks have discharged. And there's your example. Um, obviously they're lighting it right there and the visco fuse runs that way and it lights that, that, and that. So pretty simple to use. Um, actually, like I said, I already did an example just so I'd have something to show you guys. Uh, before my demo so that's what the cleanup looks like just a bunch of hard plastic so stay tuned um as soon as i'm done with this portion i will go outside and we'll just do the demo um so there might be a little delay here so um, on top of that um, i also want to show you guys this method um had a guy tell me once this is all he does it's pretty simple actually it's just a cow hitch i think that's what they call it and um you assume this is the shell and this is a shell and this is a shell um, you know you can move this slightly one way or the other and give you two inches in between if that's what you desire um, and once again I did this uh, as a demo uh, just to see if it worked um, I did that on some just too good shells and uh, it worked just fine so um, I may start doing incorporating some of this uh, method too and I'll just like this as well and give you guys an example of how well this works so once again, I'll go outside here and we'll do the firework junction one first, and then we'll go ahead and do this one next. Uh, so stay tuned. All right, guys, we're outside. Um, first one will be up, it'll be the, the plastic junctions. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at them. So that was the plastic junctions. Once again, you're left with a little bit of an aftermath. All right, so let's do the cow hitch. All right, so both methods actually work really good. All right, so we're back inside. So what do you guys think? Firework junction, cow hitch. You know, the only thing bad about these things are you're left with this little plastic piece, but I think a lawnmower would chew that up pretty well. Um, should be no problem there. That might be the only downside with that versus something like this. And like I said, I made a video of the Just Two Good shells I shot up using the cow hitch method. I will post it right behind this video. So stay tuned for that. Um, but leave me a comment. What, what do you guys think? You know, will that work for you guys? Either method? Um, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Let me know. But uh, watch the video of the Just Too Good because that is using that method right there. 
Um, so happy morning to you guys. Um, got my breakfast champions right there going. So um, stay safe today, guys, and uh, we'll talk at you later. Hey fellow Pyros, the firework guy here. I'm gonna be doing a video for you guys, uh, just fusing up a six shot rack. I think uh, maybe it'd be beneficial for some people. Um, I'm gonna try a different fusing method. Um, try something like that here, I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I've had some problems, you know, to where these shells in this six shot rack, you know, they just, in standard way people wanna fuse, they just explode all at once, which is great for a finale, but not so much if you wanna incorporate something like this into a show. And I'm thinking something like this may be a better way. So once I get this all fused up, I'm going to go ahead and make a video for you guys. So stay tuned for that. And then we'll light this off and see how well that worked out. Uh, stay tuned. Hey, fellow Pyros, the firework guy here. I uh, just finished my video. I finally get back to it after a couple of weeks. Uh, sorry for the delay. It's been kind of bad weather here. Just haven't had a chance to get to it. Um, as you can see, I'm trying a different fusing technique trying to allow a little bit of time in between, you know, these shells going up. And so I seen somebody had posted this uh, earlier and I decided to give it a try. So this will allow me to hold, hopefully, if it works out, to, you know, having about two to three inches in between, you know, the distance here, to try to give a little bit more time so the one shell up in the sky kind of has a chance to go up before the next one lights up. So. All I'm going to do here is, you know, take some of this U-Haul uh, packing tape and I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, you know, cover it each end this way, kind of like this, just so it doesn't move. I'll do it to each one of these and then I'll take a long piece of tape and start about here and just run it the whole length, you know, that way it doesn't have a chance to go anywhere. Um, I'm going to light, light this up probably here in the next couple weeks. Uh, it's raining out today. I don't think today is probably a good day to do this, but um, next few weeks or maybe a couple days from now, I'm going to go ahead and light this up, and then we're going to see what, you know, this works out. Um, I'm fingers crossed hoping it does, so stay tuned. Uh, as soon as I get a chance to light her up, I'm going to do so. I'll post it on this channel for you guys to see. If it works out, I think I might start doing this with all my racks, so uh, stay tuned. Thanks.